volume and surface area of a right circular cone. The volume of a cone is found by taking a third of pi times the radius squared times the height. The surface area of a cone is found by finding the area of the base, a circle, pi times radius squared, and adding the lateral area, or the area around the side, pi times radius times the square root of radius squared plus height squared. Let's look at an example. Find the volume and surface area of the cone in terms of pi and to the nearest whole number. We'll start with volume. So first we're going to write our volume formula. Volume is one-third times the area of the base, pi times radius squared, times the height of the cone. Now we need to substitute our, vol our values. Volume is one-third times pi times the radius, five inches, squared times the height of the cone, which is given as 12 inches. And now we'll simplify that according to PEMDAS. So 5 inches squared is 25 inches squared. And now that all we have left is multiplication, we can multiply in any order we want. So we could first take a third of 12, and um, we would get 4. A third of 12 inches is 4 inches, or 12 inches divided by 3 is 4 inches. 4 inches times 25 inches squared is 100 inches cubed. Then times pi, that's 100 pi inches cubed. So there's our answer in terms of pi. Now for the nearest whole number, we multiply times pi, and we get that our volume is 314 inches cubed. So there are two answers for volume of that cone. Now to find surface area. So we'll start with our formula. Surface area is the area of the base, pi r squared, plus pi times radius times the square root of radius squared plus height squared. Then we need to substitute our radius and our height. So surface area is pi times the radius, 5 inches, squared, plus pi times the radius again, 5 inches, times the square root of the radius squared, 5 inches squared, plus the height squared, 12 inches squared. Whew. And now we need to simplify. So I'll start here with 5 inches squared, 25 inches squared, times pi, 25 pi inches squared. Now to get to after our plus sign. 5 inches times pi is just 5 pi inches for now. And then we're going to simplify under our radical. 5 inches squared is 25 inches squared plus 12 inches squared is 144 inches squared. So we still need to simplify under our radical, so the rest of this isn't going to change. 25 pi inches plus 5 pi inches times... 25 inches squared plus 144 inches squared is 169 inches squared. And then we need to take the square root of that. So the surface area is 25 pi inches plus 5 pi inches times uh, the square root of 169 inches squared is 13 inches. Now we can multiply 5 pi inches times 13 inches. So surface area is 25 pi inches plus 5 times 13. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 3 is 15, so 65 times pi. 65 pi inches times inches 
inches squared. Now finally we can add 25 pi inches plus 65 pi inches. 20 and 60 is 80, 5 and 5 is 10. So 90 pi inches squared. And these should have been inches squared as well. Lost our two there. And that's our answer in terms of pi. And then to find it to the nearest whole number, we need to multiply times pi. 90 times pi is 283 inches squared.